morning. My name is Maria de Oliveira, and today I'll be presenting about sports and hence in social inclusion. Now, imagine that you live in this type of conditions. You're counting yourself in poverty, and you cannot get out of there because you don't have the opportunity to find a good job since you lack access to education early in life. This may not be your reality, but it's a reality of many people around the world. These people live in what is called marginalized communities. Marginalized communities face social exclusion. According to the United Nations, social exclusion is the unequal access to resources like employment, education, unequal participation in domains of society like economical, social, political, and cultural, and the novel opportunities. When it comes to the improvement of terms of participation and the quality of life in individuals, social inclusion needs to take place. According to the United Nations, social inclusion is defined as the access to resources, voicing respect for rights, and enhancing opportunities. Well, you may be thinking, what does sports, social inclusion, and marginalized communities have in common? Or to be more specific, to what extent does sports promote social inclusion for the younger generation of marginalized communities? Well, when it, when it comes with this type of inclusion, social connections need to happen between distinguished groups. But with social barriers such as cultural, language, ethnicity, and economic status, these connections will happen less, creating a barrier for social inclusion. Well, that's when sports take place. Sports break down barriers and build bridges where boundaries actually exist. Sports can be understood across culture, language, and religion. Those are the words of David Thibodeau, the young sport maker for global sports. When it comes to the power of sports being powerful to bring communities together, we have the Summer Olympic Games. Every four years, more than 200 countries come together to watch games and to play the games. If you look in the graph, more than a million people go to the country holding the event to watch the games. Sports has been used as a tool for social, for social inclusion for many marginalized communities, especially in, the stu in those two. In the Brazilian favelas, sports has been used as an enhancement for economic opportunities, and for refugee communities, sports, pay Sorry. sports has been used as a tool for cultural integration. According to a global, a Brazilian newspaper, Rio de Janeiro is a city with the largest population living in the favelas. According to the, to the data, more than 1.3 million people live in the favelas of Rio. As looking at the, this image, favelas are illegal stones in the hills with uncoordinated clusters and improvised residents with horrible living conditions. The favela residents are located at the bottom of the socioeconomic domain. They face poverty, violence, and lack of access, of, lack access to basic resources like employment and education. Due to the lack of education and career resources, Many young adults and teenagers ended up in jail or dead after turning themselves into drug gangs as their last resource of money. Fortunately, programs like One Leading to Another change the life of many young girls from the favelas of Rio. Through the practice of sports, the girls were able to create social connections and learn life skills education. Favela, for example, is a real life example when it comes to the sports being used as a enhancement of economic opportunities. After participating in the program, she was hired to a she was hired to, she was hired to an international cosmetic company, and she said that the program was one of the things that most helped her achieve what she wanted. With that, her fellow was able to have a greater participation in economic demand in society, and she was able to achieve better opportunities for her life. According to the UN Refugee Agency, refugees are people who have had war, conflict, and violence, and persecution, and have crossed international borders to seek safety. Refugees do not settle as easily as voluntary immigrants. They face trauma, longer unemployment, and struggles to adapt to the culture and language of the new country. The culture and language becomes a barrier for them, resulting to social exclusion. In this situation, social inclusion can be achieved through cultural integration. Cultural integration would take place if refugees are able to communicate and create social connections with others. According to the Home Office Indicators of Integration Framework 2019, leisure activities like sports promote opportunities for individuals to learn the culture and the country, practice language skills, improve overall individual and health, and opportunities to establish social connections. An example of that is Anna. Anna is a refugee. He fled to Finland in 2014. He said that for the first six months, he wasn't able to meet people, 
and it was hard because he didn't feel at home since the language and the culture difference. Whatever, however, after he joined the local fight club, he was able to meet people and understand the culture and the language. With that, he was able to be culturally integrated so that later on he can seek better opportunities and resources like other people that were born in the country. However, social inclusion may be hard to be achieved through sports when it comes to money. To acquire equipment, participation, and uniforms, sports, it all requires a substantial amount of money. If you look at this graph as an example, even the cheapest sport shown in the graph exceeds the $200 mark. And as mentioned before, many of favela residents and refugees encounter themselves in poverty, and a small amount of money goes towards necessities like water, food, and food. The best option for them were, would be for them to practice sports in public spaces. However, there is a lack of public free spaces and transportation. According to a study with 127 refugees about the physical activity among immigrants and refugees, they agreed that a, a barrier for physical activity is the lack of transportation in public spaces. The best solution for the, for the necessity of sports is the promotion of community sports and voluntary programs, like the one we need to another, which was, was able to perform, perform because of the help of the women win and the, and the Olympic Committee. Or the integration of refugees through sports, which has the support of the European nations. However, the con of this solution is that funds are already not being invested enough in the, in the community sports. Governments are taking the time and money to invest in the economic problems. However, this is the best solution because sports will become more accessible and in in inexpensive. And since sports is one of the easiest ways to achieve social inclusion, that means that social inclusion will take place and it will be quicker. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Two questions for you. First up, was there evidence that you gathered you didn't use, and then if so, why didn't you use it? Um, yes, I found a program in a Brazilian favela called INQ, and what happened is that it shows the sports being used in the favelas, but it didn't actually show results. It just showed that results about social inclusion. It just showed that kids use sports as a type of like live their live their childhood instead of like worrying about the problems and everything they have in the home. Okay, and my next question. What advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? So an advice I'll give to other researchers is that not to get caught up in other websites that only promote their sports instead of showing results because they only want to promote or either sell something instead of actually showing results and if it is actually reliable. 